think the van's ready for a bit of a refit so I've emptied it out and she is once again a blank canvas so I managed to get the floor up and it's always worth doing on a van that you don't know anything about because we got a lot of debris under there and there's this rubber stuff that I can always smell when a van gets hot so that needs to go so we're making a little bit more progress now I've managed to get one of the rails out that was holding the chair in the bolts were absolute peak to get out plenty of penetrating oil I'm going to leave that side for another day because I really can't be asked. And the exhaust is in the way, so that's going to be a fun one to do. I've disconnected the diesel heater. I'm just draining off the last bit of diesel in there. I'm going to pull that out, get the rest of this plywood floor up, and then give it a good clean under here, hoover it all out, fill some holes in. The holes that were for the seats i'm going to put the nuts and bolts back in because some of them go through the chassis rail and i won't be able to seal them properly a bit worried about you know rust spreading out a bit so i'll grease the nuts and bolts both sides so that should be good enough and then the little holes for the screws for the plywood floor i'll treat all them as well that's probably the worst out of the lot to be honest it ain't that bad um, I think I'm gonna redo the plywood floor. I use the old one as a template because it's had parts of it cut out for these rails. In terms of insulation under the van, I don't really want to lose a lot in the height, so I'll probably just stick a layer of that thermal bubble wrap stuff under there just to help it out a little bit. But yeah, you gotta go backwards to go forwards. But you know, it's always worth looking under the plywood on a van that you're about to convert into a camper because you don't know what's going on underneath this is actually pretty clean to be fair i've had some that have been rotted all the way around the wheel arches so it's definitely worth having a little look under so my next job is get rid of that last bit obviously i'm not doing a rail today give it a good hoover up clean up and then we'll start to reassemble So there you go, we're pretty much back to a blank canvas now. Just got the wiring for the split charge relay and the electric switches up there. The laser battery has been taken out. I've disconnected it at the start of battery, so we've got no live there at all. Uh, some holes at the back I've got to fill in. These ones, I'll go over them with some fiberglass and like I was saying, patch up all these old holes that's the holes for the diesel heater which I need to keep so any big holes we've got for tonight I'm going to cover with duct tape because we live in a countryside and I don't want any mice getting in here. So at some point this has clearly been a painter's van but I ain't really going to bother sorting all that out. I'll, once the flooring's down it will be all hidden anyway. Yeah she's looking <laughs> a lot bigger in the back there. So next job like I say, sort the holes out, get that last rail out and then we're good to start putting a, a new floor back down. And once we've got the floor down, pretty much a case of building a bed, going to build possibly a kitchen unit that side and wire back up all the electric and install my diesel heater. The MOT is due on this three weeks today, so my plan is to get all this set back up as a camper get it ready for an MOT it's got a couple of holes that I need to fill in and then see how she goes through the MOT hopefully it ain't too bad but we shall see so I've bought a fresh sheet of 4x8 plywood I'm not gonna use all of this panel because it's got cutouts where there were seat rails in I've taken them out so I'm gonna use the new bit for this part and then with a little off cut will make out that part because this bit was all broken that's where my diesel heater goes that kind of stuff so my plan is to get a single bed down this side probably about 70 centimeters by about 180 and then this side will have a simple kitchen unit now i'm not going to go totally full-on camper with this because i do use this 
van as an actual van so I needed to be able to get the bed out get the kitchen out pretty quick if I want to you know pick up some furniture or stuff like that but we'll have a new floor in now last summer we had a new floor put in our living room laminate floor in and this underlay was underneath now when my friend Dan and I were installing it I thought this is pretty cool stuff it's got aluminium one side and foam the other so it's a moisture barrier and it's got a little bit of a rating for noise uh, proofing so like 15 decibels not a lot but you know but these vans can be pretty noisy so I thought that'd be a cool idea to use try it out see how it goes I had a leisure battery that was there not fitted ideally so once the the diesel heater goes there the leisure battery I'm probably going to move towards the front all the electrics are all wired in I've currently disconnected them but it's all there good to go I've got some lighting I will make some additions to this I want to put some lighting up here where the kitchen area is going to be but for now we've got the bed there as long as I've got plenty of storage put some crates in and some storage for tin food that kind of thing and a little kitchen area we should be good to go so next job is get this out I'm gonna put this insulation down sort out a few little holes we got underneath from the bolts um, where the seat rails went through do a little bit of rust proofing and then we'll get this insulation down so this is the underlay I'm going to be using it's out of Wix it was 38 quid for 10 square meters which is more than enough to do the van again it's a bit of an experiment first time I've used it so I thought I'd give it a go like I say it's foiled one side so I'm gonna have that facing down the other side is like a foam it's three millimeters thick so it will provide a bit of a moisture barrier insulation ain't really going to do a lot but you know it's the floor it's a van it's got windows it's got gaps around the door so you're always gonna get a draft but yeah give it a go see how it see how it does and that's the underlay done wood flooring thermal moisture barrier <laughs> yeah we'll give it a go it actually looks pretty cool it might serve a purpose we'll see all right onto the plywood floor all right so that's the new plywood section in this part i need to make a bit of a template now these sheets of plywood now are 32 pound 50 and i'm a complete tight ass and i ain't buying two of them just for that little sliver there so my original plan was to cut a bit off the old plywood and then fill that bit in but the bed I want to build is 70 by 180 centimeters in dimension I want a piece of plywood to sit on top of that so I can get enough out of that but then it won't give me enough to sort this bit out so my thoughts are recycle a bit of wood because this is going to be under vinyl flooring under a bed and possibly a little end unit there so you're not going to see it I just need to make sure it is nice and level so my plans are keep that section up to there keep that little section across there and then this little bit in front of it where the gap is and that part I'll replace all that with one of the with one of these offcuts again it'll be under the floor saves me another 32 pound 50 for that money the vinyl flooring is going to cost me 40 quid so you know that yeah that pays for that but it's my van so yeah <laughs> okay so it's a couple of days later it's bank holiday weekend and i've been busy building this bed slash seating area it's made out of cls i've painted it purple because that's the color I like and it matches the van and I put a piece of 12 mil plywood on top that's an off cut from the old floor so she should do the job and inside the van I've screwed all the floor down and I've decided to go back with carpet tiles for a couple of reasons so I've just been doing the front portion of the van and also I went to look at some vinyl flooring and to be honest there's nothing really that I liked and it's like 48 quid a roll now where it used to be 40 quid 
this stuff I had a few of these knocking around so I bought about 10 more uh, they are different to the ones I had in here before there them ones are a bit more of a, a blue colour um, but these I get these from B&M they're £2.50 a tile but like I say there's a couple of reasons I like using these one it just feels nicer having carpet than vinyl flooring you ain't got stuff sliding about plus what else I noticed is when I took the floor up and took all that old underlay up I was getting a lot more road noise in the back so what I've actually done is put that that sort of fibre stuff insulation back in not ideal but it's got a damp proof membrane underneath so moisture ain't really going to get into that plus these tiles are thick rubber back so that's another level of heat and noise insulation so that's my thinking behind it plus obviously with vinyl flooring stuff does slide around and it's quite annoying but you know the only downside is you've got to make sure you ain't going in there with wet muddy boots but I normally put cart like mats down anyway so just finishing off this last couple of rows cutting around the arches two more rows to go and then we're going to get the bench in I've left the cut out there that's where the diesel heater goes where the bed bench is going to go I'm going to have to have one of the the legs right where that is so that split charge relay is going to have to move a little bit further down I'm going to have the bed pushed towards the back there's going to be a gap here for now I can put my fridge in there but I may build a little unit thereafter I think in the leisure battery oh not really sure where I want it at the minute I'm going to put the diesel heater in and then see where the pipes go and what we're doing for space but yeah I'll get the bed in line it all up and then we'll yeah we'll connect it all back up again but that is the progress so far I've also got some aluminium edging that will cover all these edge parts but yeah she's coming along okay so it's the following morning yesterday I got the bed in I screwed it to the floor I put the diesel heater back in I've got the battery there for now I've not screwed them battens in I'm just sort of lining stuff up I've got the diesel tank at the back there so just making sure I've got enough room to put some stuff in in terms of where I put the battery at the minute I'm pretty limited with where the diesel heater is and where the legs of the bed go at the minute I've got my fridge at the front there but I may build a little unit there with a little top on it so I can you know charge my phone and stuff because the power supply is there so I may build something that goes just up to about there but then I've got the the chair that leans back a bit so yeah at the minute it's kind of okay I'm not liking the way this battery sticks out that way um, but with the way the wiring is at the moment uh, I'll have to cut a lot of stuff out once you start cutting wiring you're pretty much committed to where you're gonna go so it should be okay it's only pretty much that crate I'm gonna have under there uh, these little crates the stuff that I use in them is pretty much going to go in the kitchen unit so yeah just sizing stuff up but in terms of the bed itself I'm actually liking it I've got a mattress sheet to go over that so we get rid of the the 70s 80s caravan look but she's looking pretty sharp and with this kind of setup the thing I like about this is you get a lot more room in the van so at the minute I'm currently chopping up some wood for a kitchen unit. I'm after a off cut of kitchen worktop. So at the minute I'm building something a bit temporary with the off cuts of the, the old floor. I'm just filling up some holes, letting that dry. We're going to paint that. Just use that as a, a worktop for now. I'll paint it purple. Just put like a basic frame round just so I've got somewhere to make a drink and cook some food. But yeah, she's starting to take shape. Once I get a proper worked up, I'll box it all in, put some shelving in, and maybe put a little unit at the top there to put sauces and that kind of thing. But yeah, she's looking pretty good. The height of the bed is perfect. I can sit there and my head sort of just misses the ceiling. And onto the back, I've got the diesel heater connected back up. I'm probably going to leave the tank there because I've 
with this out of the way I can get my jerry can in there and with the nozzle I can fill that up so what I'll do eventually is box that end bit in and then I can start storing stuff down here when I'm out camping but she's getting there at the minute you know it's a bit of framework it looks a bit crude but it's a work in progress so I'll keep adding bits to it as I go along I've put all the trim back on now just one little piece I need to cut on that bit there but yeah like I say with this setup you get loads more room obviously I'm going to put a little unit there but I still use this van occasionally as a van to move furniture that kind of thing so if I want the van empty I can quickly unscrew the bed get that out I can unscrew the kitchen unit get that out and I've still got a full size van like I said just going to use this little bit of wood as I worked up at the minute it's a bit bowed so I'll try and strain it out with some battening but it's just a temporary measure I've had the table saw out been chopping up some CLS to get some square cuts of wood so that's going to be the framework for the kitchen just got a few more bits to cut up so progress on the kitchen unit I've painted the top and I've painted all the the legs and supports and stuff and so some of these are going to be going around the leisure battery and the little diesel tank for the heater so just waiting for paint to dry and then i can get it all assembled okay so the last job of the day is complete we have a very basic kitchen area yeah we can make some brews there at the minute cook some food so that's the <laughs> the main thing but the basic framework's there obviously I'm going to change the worktop and put some more framework in eventually I will panel this out and put a shelf in but for now yep we got a bed in there we've got the diesel heater back in we've got electric we've got somewhere to make some food we'll have some sweet views when we're out and about so I'll call that a win basically I've put this all together in about three days or so over the bank holiday weekend and spent probably about 150 quid on wood and carpet tiles and stuff so just shows you what you can do on a budget if you want a very basic camper but again we will add to this we've got a fridge as well again diesel heater under there we've got electrics like i say i will be adding to this and doing a bit more make it look a bit more like a camper but if you do buy a t4 nowadays they cost a lot of money and you probably ain't gonna have a lot left to to spend but you know for a little day van setup and a bit of overnight camping this is perfect i'll hopefully get a bit more done to this this week and make some more beading around the kitchen area but i'm pretty much done and hopefully come across a, a worktop soon so we can have a a proper work top i will put a little cabinet along the top at some point get some lighting over that side so at the minute i've only got that light there but plenty to work with lots of potential and we're in no rush so hopefully like i say get some more work done to this this week and by next weekend we should be out doing a bit of wild stealth camping so if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you all very soon thanks for watching